Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? HFM back once again with another video regarding the possibility for custom zombies or mod tools in general, not only on new games like Black Ops Cold War on PC, but also on the new generation consoles and other games. I'm pretty sure that I did talk about this or something similar to this, but here we are going into the details once again. However, this time we jump seriously deep into the details, and I will show you some facts to prove my point within this video. So what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about the following topics. We're going to talk about the specs of current generation consoles such as the PS4, PS4 Slim and the PS4 Pro. We're going to talk about the specs of the next generation consoles such as the PS5. We're going to go ahead and compare them to see the difference. Talk about older games that included some sort of customization such as level editor or community based shared content etc. We're also going to talk about the PC mods for a PC version of the game and porting them over to the consoles such as the PS3, PS4. We're also going to talk about how and why current generation and next generation consoles can have mod tools, level editors, community shared content, etc. Alright, so we will jump into the amazing details right after this. Are you looking for some awesome merchandise? We got you covered. We have different varieties of t-shirts, hoodies, phone cases, mouse mats, mugs and many many more. All our merch are top notch quality and very fast shipping. Click on the link below for more details and order yours today. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right into the console specs. The PS5 has a custom 8 core AMD Zen 2 CPU which is clocked at 3.5 GHz. It also has a custom RDNA 2 based graphics card engine which runs ray tracing but truly really smooth. It also has 10.3 teraflops. More about this later in this video. It also has 16GB of GDDR6 RAM with a 448GB a second bandwidth. And finally, it has a storage of 825GB on a solid state drive, SSD for short, which has a 5.5GB a second bandwidth. Let's compare some important things from the PS5 to the PS4. The CPU of a PS5 is an 8 core CPU which is the same as on the PS4. However, the PS4 has a Jaguar CPU and the PS5 has a Zen 2 CPU. The Zen 2 CPU is new and much better than the Jaguar CPU. Jaguar CPU runs at 1.6 GHz while the PS5 CPU, again Zen 2, runs at 3.5 GHz. This means that the PS5 already runs more than twice as much data than the PS4. The GPU is a killer here. I mentioned two things on the GPU earlier in this video. I said that ray tracing will be butterly smooth and I mentioned 10.3 teraflops. The 10.3 teraflops are floating point operations which calculates how many thoughts a GPU can have per second. In this case, the PS5 can have 10.3 teraflops of thoughts. A second. Now, the more the better, but that's not the only important element. The original PS4 has 1.84 teraflops, the PS4 Pro has 4.2 teraflops, and the PS5 comes at 10.3 teraflops, so you can clearly see that the PS5 GPU is the killer. Okay, so we know that the PS5 is stronger than the old generation or the current generation consoles. Let's talk about older consoles and games that gives the gamer some sort of mod tools such as level editor or creator and community shared content and etc. The PlayStation 2, what a beautiful console, but I'm not interested into the PS2. No, I'm more interested into the game I was playing it on. I'm talking about Tony Hawk's Underground. I remember that I was creating my own skate park on one side of the screen and my friend was creating a massive maze on the other side of the screen. Yes, this was done on the PS2 and on a split screen. Isn't that mind blowing? Well, as time goes on, technology grows and gets better, right? Yes, for example, there's a game which is not really a game on the PS4 where you can make games. Basically, it's a game engine that allows everyone to create their own game and animations and share that with the community. It's simple, but seriously effective. One person creates a game, the other guy downloads the game and plays it on the PS4. 
I can't be wrong about this, but I think the title of the game was Dream or Dreams. Search it up on the PS Store. It should be up there. Now, people made a recreation of Nachtwer and Toten, Kino der Toten, GT San Andreas, Avatar, and many, many more. This was all done on the PS4, and we know that the new generation consoles, well, at least the PS5, is way stronger than the PS4, PS4 Slim, and the PS4 Pro combined. So, what is holding the developers to release their mod tools or some sort of community made and shared content? Well, in this case, it's Sony. You see, we gamers play on PC and or console, right? So if you play on PC and I play on console, does that make me 20% gamer and 80% non-gamer? No. Does it make you 80% gamer and 20% non-gamer? No, that's stupid, right? So when you start gaming on PC or console, it makes you 100% gamer, obviously, because you are gaming. This means that you and I are pretty much the same. You like gaming and I do too. We gamers are actually a one big family. So if we all are gamers and we are a part of this massive community aka family, why does the PC side get mod support and just better support in general? Any games developer wants the best for the players, that's an actual fact. But it's up to the publishers to decide, or in this case, the publishers of consoles. I have the best example here. Bethesda is the developers of Skyrim and Fallout series. Skyrim has a massive mod support and Bethesda loves it and wants to support it even further. I found an article, which I will link in the description box below for you to check it out and read the full thing, but I'm gonna jump into the most important story here. So this article explains why Fallout and Skyrim will no longer have mod supports on the PS4 and it's very disappointing. Here, let me read a few parts of the article. Despite its original plans, developer Bethesda will no longer be bringing support for mods on the PS4 version of Fallout 4 or the upcoming remastered version of Skyrim. After months of discussion with Sony, we regret to say that while we have long been ready to offer mod support on the PlayStation 4, Sony has informed us they will not approve user mods the way they should work, where users can do anything what they want for either Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition. Mods for console games aren't typical. Bethesda felt they were an important part of the Fallout series. Helping to extend the life of the post-apocalyptic game with user-created content, our goal was to make mods easier and more accessible than ever before, for both the creators and the players. The developers said that this time, PS4 support was originally planned for June, while for the time being, the PS4 won't be getting mod support for any Bethesda games. The developers say it's open to doing so in the future should Sony change its mind. We consider this as an important initiative and we hope to find other ways user mods can be available for PlayStation audience. However, until Sony will allow us to offer proper mod support for the PS4, that content for Fallout 4 and Skyrim on PlayStation 4 will not be available. So we can see that the developers want to release their mod tools or some sort of community shared content, but the publisher on console or consoles won't allow it. Pretty sure they think it's not how it should be played or they might think it's cheating or whatever. I just simply don't know. It's a dick move to cockblock the developers intentions for their own games. They developed it, created it from scratch, what do the publishers do? They sit on their asses and only give money to developers so they get paid monthly in order to put some bread on the table for their family, as a man should. So my message to Sony and any other console publisher or whatever, let the developers create their games and stop being a hard ass blocking the intentions of developers. If they want to release mod tools or an in-game level creator, let them be. Developers, I know. It's a pain to work for those consoles. I know it's one of the biggest markets for selling your games and I respect that, but the PC is the way to go. If we as a community spread the word with support by the developers themselves, well, I think we can totally win that battle. Why is PC getting all the mods and support while the console gamers are left in the dark where they pay 60 bucks for a game? PC users pay 60 bucks for a game, most of the times even less than that. And we get things like massive mod support, hosting servers and much, much more. Anyways, 
It is possible even on the PS4 and it's definitely possible on the PS5, but it is up to Sony and Microsoft to let the developers release their some sort of mod tools. We had a few games in the past that allowed the community to vote for the best weapon skin or something like that and then later was ported over to the consoles for gamers to enjoy it over there as well. Same as the unofficial way that we did for the Advantage tools which is an app I created for the PS3 where our team or an individual ported Skyrim mods over to the PS3 where users download the update or patch file from my app to the PS3 and gets access to the mods that way. Anyways, I also made a video about the possibility of Black Ops Cold War getting mod tools so check it out by clicking on the eye in the upper right corner right now to watch that video. Spoiler alert, it goes great with this video so definitely check it out. But that does conclude the video for today. I want to thank you for watching this video and taking your time to listen to my words. Seriously appreciate it. Thank you so much. I talked about the details, story, facts and gave you my opinion. So definitely let me know yours with a comment down below. I read every single comment and reply or react to them as well. I'm Shopkins for you and I'm out. Hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.